first of all, before I jump to the topic, let me just uh, uh, ask you to imagine our future. Just close your eyes for five seconds, take whatever you want. Close your eyes, imagine our future. Three, two, one. All right, so did you see flying cars there? Yes, all right, cool, because I see all the time, when I imagine of the future, I see all the time there's flying cars there. I don't know, even in any like cyberpunk game, if there is any, anything related to the future, there is, there is a flying car. All right, you like it or not, there is one. All right, uh, let me jump to the, our presentation. We are, uh, rep I'm representing my team. We, are, we have worked on future of transportation and we'll be starting from cause and effects and uh, follow up with the problems. So f future is a very tempting topic, don't you see? Like, cause we, we have a lot of people talking about future, but remember, future is now. This phone was was a magic. Like, was it was a magic to imagine for Leonardo da Vinci? He was an innovator, but this is an innovation he wouldn't even imagine. And but we won't be speaking about phone. We will be sp speaking about this bus pass. Oh, actually, it's expired. <laughs> All right. So. There was somebody, somebody way famous, very famous, talking about this victory. All right, transport is the stem without which the victory could never have blossomed. So it plays a very huge role in our lives. And the problems. We have mentioned three very detailed problems. Uh, we, we, we were very high level because we didn't touch the topics the other guys would touch. It's like infrastructure and the city architecture, city planning. And we are... Uh, specifying on something we actually know and experience daily. All right, on this map you can see the Budapest and the how crowded is it? The the very dark lines, dark red lines are very crowded, and you can see the numbers here. For example, in Hungary, total of the vehicles with a car uh, it is four point half almost, and you can see the ratio here. For example, the Budapest is the dark red, and it's so small, right? But it has like 700 vehicles uh, in the city, while the Chopron County has like 200,000, like compared to, the, to that angle. And the air pollution. That's the huge topic, because we experience on it, uh, about it daily, right? Because you come here, you breathe it, and you can feel it. And one in five people die of a yearly. And about the parking. Here we will talk about uh, the parking and its solution. For example, like average American spends around like 17 hours a year just, just to look, just to find the spot. And car owners would agree with it. And there is actual solution. And there are actually two ways of solution. One is very traditional. Like there is just the digital panels. You can see how many free spots you, you, you can have in the parking spot. And uh, the red light, if you see, this, is, this means you have a free, free parking spot there and you can park it there. And the park up. And this is, another, the, this is another point when you should remember the future is now. Because the park lap is the actual app when you can as l let me actually demonstrate it. You can see the car, you can see the parking slot, and you can actually see the prices and re book the book the spot for yourself. And I'll be I'll be covering the solutions just like this, from coming from close future to the very far, which is our vision, which is actually Elon Musk's vision. We just copied it. Um, the car sharing. This is very real, and the Mall Limo, you may have taken it, you may have shared it. And this solution is very real, and it is actually working. It's very good, organized, and structured. And for example, you just use it, and for example, for two hours, and you just leave it, and don't pay for parking, right? And this goes for, for example, families with uh, many team members, for example. And Actually, you can use it for a short time, and it's easy to use, and uh, happily, it is environmental friendly, because mostly we use electronic cars, right? In, in such cases. 
and uh, autonomous vehicles. Uh, has anybody uh, seen any of them? Raise your hands, please. All right, that's quite a lot. Uh, <laughs> good to hear. And for example, the Tesla's model or Mercedes model in our example, this is very popular now. And uh, the thing is, um, the, this is you may think this is quite far, but this is actually getting real now. And the infrastructure is there, technology is there. And this is actually one of the solutions. And this is the solution which is quite far because the technology we have, the all, all the infrastructure we have, but the legislation and the city building is not there for it yet. But this is all actually, uh, as time goes, the, this is this may get real, and this is also one of our solutions. So here I would end my uh, here I would end my um, presentation. But remember, future is now. Thank you. <laughs>